After a record long monsoon season swept South Korea, many rural families are struggling to repair their damaged properties. Thousands of volunteers are joining in recovery work across the country. Yi Gyeong-un takes us to the scene. Torrential rain slammed Gyeongsang County in Chungcheongnam-do province this summer, and farmer Shin chun su is still dealing with its impact. Electronic devices are broken, trash is piled up, and crops are coated with mud from a landslide. With just too much recovery work to do, he has no time to take care of himself. I work sleeping only five hours each day, but I'm still running out of time. I don't have time to wash my clothes. That's not the priority at the moment. For many people like him, volunteers from Korea Red Cross have been washing their clothes using this moving laundry car. The car is located in the sports center in the town, and each morning, people bring in bags of laundry. Once the clothes are dried, the volunteers fold them, put them in a clean bag, and call people to pick them up. During the past 10 days, the laundry has come in nonstop. The blanket was extremely heavy due to the rain, and there was even more mud inside. They also bring winter clothes that were stacked up in the wardrobe. In the meantime, other volunteers have been working to restore the rain-hammered ginseng fields. Today, they are pulling down the covers that were used to protect ginseng. This will be the last step before preparing the land for new crops. It was hard to get to this stage as the round-the-clock rain hindered them from digging up the run ginseng. Now the rain has stopped, but they're fighting the heat. The biggest problem is the extreme heat, but if you look at the devastation, you forget about the heat. Volunteers like these are working across the country, but the enormous amount of damage means that there is still a lot of recovery work left to do. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News, Gyeongsan.